students we are discussing chapter mineral nutrition right in this chapter go for the next topic what's our nitrogen metabolism what it is nitrogen metabolism right now listen here apart from apart from carbon hydrogen and oxygen right apart from carbon hydrogen and oxygen right nitrogen is the most nitrogen is the most prevalent most prevalent element in living organisms okay right therefore apart from what carbon hydrogen and oxygen this nitrogen right is the most prevalent element in living organisms okay sir nitrogen is present in amino acids proteins nucleic acids nucleotides okay hormones and vitamins or vitamins what nitrogen nitrogen present nitrogen present in what sir nitrogen is present in amino acids what proteins nucleotides nucleo what types nucleotides nucleic acids nucleic acids nucleic acids okay right what more sir enzymes enzymes hormones hormones and uh, vitamins are vitamins okay sir uh, plant requires uh, which essential element in largest quantities for growth and development nitrogen we already discussed this statement but soil it is having less amount of nitrogen so plant competes with microorganisms for this limited amount of nitrogen available in the soil right sir plants plants uh, competes plants uh, competes with uh, what nitrogen plants compete uh, okay plants compete with uh, microorganisms plants competes with what sir microorganisms plants they are competing with microorganisms for limited nitrogen for limited uh, nitrogen present in soil just now i told sir plant requires nitrogen in large quantities for its growth and development but plant is having small quantities of nitrogen less quantity of nitrogen right so what plant is doing this plants they are competing with the uh, microorganisms for what for limited nitrogen that is present in the soil for limited nitrogen that is present in the soil so this nitrogen becomes a limiting nutrient in both natural and agricultural ecosystem right right what sir nitrogen is a limiting it is the what it is a limiting nutrient it is the limiting nutrient in both it is a limiting nutrient in both uh, natural ecosystem and agricultural ecosystem natural ecosystem natural ecosystem and uh, what sir agricultural ecosystem natural ecosystem and agricultural ecosystem it means in nature number of plants are growing yes or no the growth and development of such plants uh, is limited by which nutrient nitrogen so we are calling this nitrogen as a limiting nutrient sir agriculture crop okay plants are growing in agricultural field right these plants which are growing in the agricultural field their growth and development right is decided limited by what sir nitrogen so this nitrogen is a limiting nutrient right in both natural ecosystem and agricultural ecosystem 
ओके राइट सर इफ यू सी द नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन राइट एन टू राइट हैविंग हाउ मेनी नाइट्रोजन एटम्स सर टू नाइट्रोजन एटम्स इन बिटवीन दिस टू नाइट्रोजन एटम्स वेरी स्ट्रांग कोवलेंट ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इज प्रेजेंट वेरी स्ट्रांग कोवलेंट ट्रिपल बॉन्ड प्रेजेंट बिटवीन टू नाइट्रोजन एटम्स इज दिस स्टेटमेंट ओके राइट वेरी स्ट्रांग वेरी स्ट्रांग कोवलेंट कोवलेंट व्हाट सर ट्रिपल बॉन्ड ट्रिपल बॉन्ड प्रेजेंट वेर प्रेजेंट बिटवीन टू नाइट्रोजन एटम्स बिटवीन टू नाइट्रोजन एटम्स देर फॉर इन बिटवीन टू नाइट्रोजन एटम्स वॉट इज प्रेजेंट वेरी स्ट्रांग कोवलेंट ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इज प्रेजेंट ओके राइट सर इन दिस नाइट्रोजन मेथबॉलिज्म वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नाइट्रोजन साइकिल व्हाट सर नाइट्रोजन साइकिल राइट व्हाट इज सर नाइट्रोजन साइकिल साइक्लिक मूवमेंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फ्रॉम एटमॉस्फियर टू सॉइल अगेन फ्रॉम सॉइल टू एटमॉस्फियर इज कॉल्ड एज नाइट्रोजन साइकिल What is the meaning of nitrogen cycle? It is a cyclic movement of nitrogen. Cyclic movement of nitrogen from where to where, sir? From atmosphere to soil. From atmosphere to soil. Again, from soil to atmosphere. This is cyclic movement of nitrogen from atmosphere to soil. Again, from soil to atmosphere is called as a nitrogen cycle. Okay, therefore, cyclic movement. What it is? Cyclic movement. Cyclic movement of a uh, what sir? Nitrogen. Cyclic movement of nitrogen from atmosphere to soil, and again, and again. back from where to where from soil to atmosphere from soil to atmosphere is called uh, what sir is called nitrogen cycle it is called as what sir nitrogen cycle therefore cyclic movement of what nitrogen from atmosphere to soil again back from soil to atmosphere is called as what sir nitrogen cycle sir this nitrogen cycle nitrogen cycle involves five steps nitrogen cycle involves a uh, five steps nitrogen cycle involves uh, how many steps sir five steps involves five steps sir what are the five steps of nitrogen cycle number 1 nitrogen fixation what is the first step sir nitrogen fixation number 2 nitrogen assimilation what is the second step nitrogen assimilation third step is ammonification 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 fourth step is nitrification what it is sir nitrification nitrification and fifth step is denitrification what it is denitrification the d nitrification denitrification okay right therefore nitrogen cycle it involves how many steps five steps what are they nitrogen fixation nitrogen assimilation ammonification nitrification denitrification okay go for the first step what it is nitrogen fixation go for the first step what it is nitrogen fixation right go for the first step what is nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation sir atmosphere contains uh, 78% of uh, nitrogen where sir atmosphere atmosphere is having 78% of nitrogen 
this nitrogen present in atmosphere is called as dinitrogen dinitrogen it is also called as molecular nitrogen what it is called as molecular nitrogen dinitrogen or what sir molecular nitrogen it is also called as atmospheric nitrogen it is also called as what sir atmospheric nitrogen sir atmosphere contains 78 percentage of nitrogen this nitrogen in atmosphere atmospheric nitrogen dinitrogen two nitrogen atoms are there molecular nitrogen okay sir this nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere is fixed into the soil fixed into the soil from where atmosphere to what soil either in the form of nitrogen oxides either in the form of what nitrogen oxides nitrogen oxides are in the form of ammonia or in the form of what sir ammonia this is called nitrogen fixation therefore fixing nitrogen from atmosphere to soil either in the form of nitrogen oxides or in the form of ammonia is called as nitrogen fixation therefore what is the meaning of nitrogen fixation sir fixing nitrogen fixing nitrogen from where to where from atmosphere to soil sir in the soil it is fixed in the form of what in the form of in the form of what nitrogen oxides in the form of nitrogen oxides or in the form of ammonia therefore fixing nitrogen from atmosphere to soil in the form of nitrogen oxides or ammonia is called as what sir nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation sir during nitrogen fixation nitrogen is moving from where to where atmosphere to soil therefore movement of nitrogen movement of uh, what sir nitrogen sir during nitrogen fixation from where nitrogen is moving from nitrogen is moving from atmosphere to soil so automatically soil fertility increases therefore nitrogen fixation increases the soil fertility nitrogen fixation increases what soil fertility increases soil fertility in terms of nitrogen in terms of nitrogen because nitrogen fixation is increasing the nitrogen content in the soil therefore increases the soil fertility in terms of what sir nitrogen in terms of what sir nitrogen sir this nitrogen fixation is a endothermic process or endergonic process nitrogen fixation is a which process sir it is a endothermic process endothermic process or endergonic endergonic process sir what is the meaning of endothermic endo inside it means energy is required or released energy is required to carry out nitrogen fixation process sir to carry out nitrogen fixation process what is required energy is required okay utilized so we are calling it as which process sir endothermic process or endergonic process what we are discussing nitrogen fixation this nitrogen fixation is of two types nitrogen fixation is of how many types two types nitrogen fixation is of uh, two types nitrogen fixation is of two types sir what are the two types of nitrogen fixation sir first one is uh, a biological nitrogen fixation a biological what sir nitrogen fixation a biological nitrogen fixation second one is biological nitrogen fixation what are the two sir a biological nitrogen fixation and second one is biological nitrogen fixation is it okay right therefore how many types two types a biological biological 
go for the first one just now i told nitrogen fixation is of two types a biological and biological right what are the first one sir a biological nitrogen fixation right a biological nitrogen fixation sir nitrogen fixation means fixing nitrogen from atmosphere to soil fixing nitrogen from atmosphere to soil in the form of nitrogen oxides i am speaking about a biological nitrogen fixation here nitrogen is fixed from atmosphere to soil in the form of nitrogen oxides sir a biological without involvement of living organisms what is fixed nitrogen is fixed from where to where atmosphere to soil in the form of what nitrogen oxides without involvement of living organisms is called as a biological nitrogen fixation therefore fixing nitrogen fixing nitrogen fixing nitrogen from where to where atmosphere to soil fixing nitrogen from atmosphere to soil in the form of in the form of what sir in the form of a nitrogen oxides in the form of what sir nitrogen oxides with or without without involvement without involvement of living organisms therefore without involvement of living organisms nitrogen is fixed from atmosphere to soil in the form of nitrogen oxides this is a biological nitrogen fixation a biological nitrogen fixation also called as a physico chemical process also called as a what sir also called as a physico chemical process also called as a physico chemical process who is called as a physico chemical process right a biological nitrogen fixation right previously i told you one statement this nitrogen fixation right it is a endothermic process it means requires energy sir for this a biological nitrogen fixation who is providing the energy lightnings and uv radiations therefore a biological nitrogen fixation takes place with the help of lightnings and uh, what sir uv radiations therefore a biological nitrogen fixation takes place uh, with the help of uh, takes place uh, with the help of takes place with the help of what sir with the help of uh, lightnings and uh, what more sir uv radiations lightnings and what sir uv radiations lightnings and uv radiations okay right now listen this statement sir by a biological nitrogen fixation less than 30 percentage of nitrogen is fixed less than 30 percentage of nitrogen fixed by a biological nitrogen fixation therefore a biological nitrogen fixation a biological nitrogen fixation fixes how much less than 30 percentage of what nitrogen therefore fixes less than 30 percentage of nitrogen which fixation a biological nitrogen fixation sir a biological industrial nitrogen fixation best example habers process i think you read in chemistry habers process a biological industrial nitrogen fixation a biological right industrial industrial nitrogen fixation a biological industrial nitrogen fixation what is the example sir habers process habers process habers process is an example for a biological industrial nitrogen fixation this is about a a biological nitrogen fixation right go for the second one biological nitrogen fixation fixing nitrogen from atmosphere 
into the soil in the form of ammonia by the involvement of living organisms is called biological nitrogen fixation okay what is fixed nitrogen from where to where atmosphere to soil in the form of what ammonia by the involvement of living organisms it means here living organisms are involved okay therefore biological nitrogen fixation what sir fixing of nitrogen from fixing of nitrogen from where to where atmosphere to soil atmosphere to soil right in the form of ammonia in the form of what ammonia in the form of ammonia right by the involvement of living organisms by the involvement of what sir living organisms therefore living organisms are involved here sir this biological nitrogen fixation also called as a also called as a diazotrophy also called as a diazotrophy also called as what sir diazotrophy also called as diazotrophy sir we are saying that biological nitrogen fixation involves living organisms this living organisms involved in biological nitrogen fixation called as a nitrogen fixers or diazotropes therefore living organisms involved living organisms involved in biological nitrogen fixation involved in what sir biological nitrogen fixation this living organisms involved in biological nitrogen fixation called as a, what sir di azotropes what they are called as diazotropes also called as nitrogen fixers diazotropes are nitrogen fixers sir this diazotropes are prokaryotic organisms okay therefore which organisms acts as nitrogen fixers sir nitrogen fixers who acts as nitrogen fixers prokaryotic organisms so do all prokaryotic organisms acts as nitrogen fixers no only some prokaryotic organisms acts as nitrogen fixers okay right but not all prokaryotic organisms prokaryotic organisms comes under kingdom what sir monera yes or no therefore nitrogen fixers which organisms prokaryotic not all only some prokaryotic organisms acts as what nitrogen fixers what sir nitrogen fixers right what are these uh, nitrogen fixers prokaryotic no nitrogen fixers sir what are the prokaryotic organisms which acts as a what sir nitrogen fixers okay right sir first one is a uh, number one bacteria what is the first one sir bacteria first one is bacteria right and second one is a cyanobacteria 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 go for the first one what sir bacteria sir this bacteria can fix nitrogen bacteria can fix nitrogen either in free living form either in which form sir free living form or in symbiotic form or in what sir symbiotic form right or in loose symbiosis what it is a loose symbiosis loose symbiosis loose symbiosis okay right go for the first one what sir free living what it is sir free living go for free living okay sir this free living bacteria right it may be either aerobic or anaerobic what it is sir it is either aerobic or anaerobic it is either aerobic or anaerobic either aerobic or anaerobic first go for aerobic examples i am writing azotobacter what it is sir azotobacter 
नंबर टू बाइजर निकिया बाइजर निकिया ओके देर फॉर एसेटो बैक्टर एंड बाइजार निकिया दिस टू आर एरोबिक फ्री लिविंग बैक्टीरिया विच फिक्सेस नाइट्रोजन एक्स एज नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेस नाउ गो फॉर एनरोबिक नंबर वन बैसिलस सर बैसिलस इट्स अ सैप्रोफाइट एस आर नो बैसिलस सैप्रोफाइट नंबर टू क्लास्ट्रीडियम वर्ड इज सर क्लास्ट्रीडियम क्लास्ट्रीडियम नेक्स्ट वन क्रोमैटियम वाट इट इज अ क्रोमैटियम नेक्स्ट रोडो स्पाइरिलम रोडो स्पाइरिलम स्पाइरिलम स्पाइरली कॉइल्ड नेक्स्ट वन रोडो सुडोमोनास रोडो वाट सर सुडोमोनास रोडो सुडो मोनास रोडो सुडो मोनास ओके एंड लास्ट वन इज मिथानो कोकस वर्ड इज सर मिथानो कोकस मिथानो कोकस मिथानो कोकस देर फॉर बैसिलस क्लास्ट्रीडियम क्रोमैटियम रोडो स्पाइरिलम रोडो सुडो मोनास मिथानो कोकस ऑल दीज आर एनरोबिक फ्री लिविंग बैक्टीरिया विच एक्स एज नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर्स सर इन दिस एनरोबिक ऑर्गेनिजम दिस क्रोमैटियम वर्ड इज सर क्रोमैटियम रोडो स्पाइरिलम रोडो सुडो मोनास सर दीज थ्री आर फोटो सिंथेटिक वट आर दीज थ्री सर दीज थ्री आर फोटो सिंथेटिक दीज थ्री आर फोटो सिंथेटिक Sir, do bacteria releases oxygen during photosynthesis? No. Therefore, they are non-oxygenic photosynthetic. Non-oxygenic photosynthetic. Non-oxygenic photosynthetic. Okay, right. Now go for the second case. What sir? Symbiotic. What sir? Symbiotic. Symbiotic. Right. Now I am writing the statements concerned to symbiotic. Sir, take a rhizobium. What sir? Rhizobium. Rhizobium present in root nodules. Present in what sir? Root nodules. Present in root nodules of uh, many legume plants. Present in root nodules of many legume plants. Present in root nodules of many legume plants. Present in the root nodules of many legume plants. Sir, what are that legume plants, sir? Number one, garden pea. Number two, sweet pea. What is sir? Sweet pea. Next one, sweet clover. Sweet clover. Next one, clover beans. What is sir? Clover beans. Next one is broad beans. What sir? Broad uh, beans. Broad beans. Next one is lentil. Lentil. Okay. Next uh, alfalfa. 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 Okay. Right. Sir, these are some legume plants, sir. Uh, okay in which you are going to see rhizobium bacteria in their root nodules in their root nodules sir this rhizobium bacteria is present even in a plant by name parasponia or the plant name parasponia but this parasponia is not a legume plant it is a non legume plant it is a non legume plant parasponia is a non legume plant okay right number 2 go for the second example for symbiotic condition i am speaking about symbiotic condition saying the second example what sir frankia what is frankia in first year we read sir this frankia right comes under actinomycetes member yes or no comes under actinomycetes actinomycetes means branched filamentous bacteria yes or no actinomycetes actino what sir mycetes actinomycetes what is the meaning of actinomycetes branched filamentous bacteria branched filamentous bacteria frankia present in frankia present in where sir root nodules frankia present in root nodules of a non legume plants present in root nodules of non legume plants sir what are that non legume plants having frankia in its root nodules sir number 
Alnas. A L N U S. Alnas. Second one is Casu Raina. What it is? Casu Raina. Casu Raina. Next one is Mirika. M Y R I C A. Mirika. Right. Therefore, these are non-legume plants. What? Alnas. Casuarina merica. These are non-legume plants having franchia in their root nodules. Having franchia in their root nodules, right? Now we are discussing right symbiotic, right? I am writing the third example for symbiotic condition. Two examples completed. Rhizobium franchia, right? Now I am going for the third one, number three. What is sir? Brady. B R A D Y. Brady rhizobium. Brady rhizobium, Brady rhizobium, and uh, Sino rhizobium, Brady rhizobium, and Sino rhizobium. Sir, they are present in root nodules of soya bean plant. Present in a uh, where, sir? A root nodules of which plants are soya bean plant, soya bean, glycin max, soya bean, glycin max. Whereas a uh, Azorhizobium. What it is? Azorhizobium. Azorhizobium present in stem nodules. Azorhizobium present in stem nodules of uh, which plants are Sesbania or Sesbania. What is the common name of Sesbania plant? A visa. What is the common name of Sesbania plant? A visa. Therefore, Azorhizobium present in the stem nodules of Sesbania or Sesbania plant. Now go for loose symbiosis. What it is, sir? Loose symbiosis. Sir, loose symbiosis means here bacteria is not in physical contact with the plant. Therefore, no physical contact. No physical contact. There is no physical contact with the plant. Okay, right? This loose symbiosis also called as associate symbiosis. What it is called as, sir? Associate symbiosis. It is also called as associate symbiosis. Sir, here, what is the organism name involved in loose symbiosis, sir? Azospirillum. What it is, sir? Azospirillum. Azospirillum. Sir, this azospirillum, spirillum, spirally coiled, helically coiled bacteria, right? Sir, this azospirillum present in, azospirillum present in, where this azospirillum is present? It is present in a rhizosphere. What sir? Rhizosphere. Name itself indicates rhizo means root, sphere means atmosphere. Therefore, present in the root atmosphere. Present in root as atmosphere of which plant sir? Maize plant. Maize is a dicot or monocot sir? Monocot plant. Yes or no? Right? Therefore, loose symbiosis. Here the bacteria is not in physical contact with the plant. Okay, this loose symbiosis also called as associate symbiosis. Best example is azospirillum. Azospirillum present in the rhizosphere, that is root atmosphere of maize. Maize is a monocot plant. Okay, sir, is this loose symbiosis comes under free living condition or symbiotic condition, sir? Free living condition. Loose symbiosis. Right, free living, free living. Okay, now go for the last one. What, sir? Cyanobacteria. What is, sir? Cyanobacteria, cyanobacteria. Sir, cyanobacterial nitrogen fixers are photosynthetic. What they are? They are photosynthetic. They are photosynthetic. Yes or no? They are photosynthetic. Sir, they are oxygenic photosynthetic organisms. Oxygenic releases oxygen during photosynthesis. Therefore, they are oxygenic photosynthetic organisms. Sir, this is cyanobacteria can fix nitrogen either in free living form, either in free living form or in symbiotic form. Either in free living form or in which form, sir? Symbiotic form. Can fix nitrogen either in free living form or in symbiotic forms. Is it okay? Right? Thank you.